Oh, how do we follow that up? That oh my was gosh, cute. That was so, so cute. cute. I know how we follow it up with a good friend of Good Things You've yeah. Done. Has not been on the show in more than 10 years. She's been busy. She's been on HGTV. Design star Catherine Elliott is back. You, three time best selling author, designer, now doing real estate, has a brand new show that's right here in Utah. This is web based, mm -hmm. and you can actually be part of it. How does that work for our viewers? Absolutely. We, we are so excited. The concept for the show is called Fix, Set, Sale, and we're fixing it up, setting it right, selling it fast. Design trends change so drastically from year to year that homeowners really have to be willing to do some degree of updating and staging to have their buyers be able to make that emotional connection when they walk mm -hmm. in the door and say, oh, I'm home. And they are, it, it's all relative to what they're seeing in magazines, in model homes, and online. Okay, but and can so, this be done on a budget? Absolutely. And it really can. And that's really the whole premise of the show, whether you have a dollar, $10,000, and, and really no time constraint either. If you have 10 minutes or 10 weeks to give us and work with us, Fix That Sale is going to be in the trenches with you, doing it on camera no matter what your budget is what and did, what your time constraints are. What did are. you learn on HGTV that you now apply? Well, I was a semi-finalist on Design Star, and this was actually the concept I had for the show. Had I won, had I been able, able to get on and get on the episodes and, and finish through and win, I would have put this show together. And what I have learned is there are all kinds of things you can do to fix up a space very inexpensively, and it's all about being creative and thinking outside okay, the box. Like what? Like what well, kinds of things could you do? Well, uh, when I go into a home, like the, the design trends have changed so drastically mm -hmm. in the last 10 years that really everything that you're seeing in homes are completely opposite from what yeah. they were 10 years ago. It's so true. Right? So how and do you so transition? There, there are things that you can do very inexpensively. You can paint walls. You can paint, redo the kitchen cabinets. You can upscale a piece of found furniture from Goodwill or Desert Industries that are partnering with us to help market the show. And so there's a myriad of things that we have to offer people getting ready to sell their house, to get it updated and staged to help people make that connection, as well as um, viewers being able to view and get interesting content. I love that you just said Desert Industries. I know. I know. Don't you, you love can that? find something yeah, anywhere that yeah. will update your home. And just fix it and paint it up, right? That, that's right. And in the world we live in, we're, we're in such a disposable society. We, we tend to throw things away. It's really about use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. And so being able to go and follow along the lines of that concept and, and help homeowners be able to sell their fast their home faster because a, a home that is staged and updated sells 75% faster, 15% mm. higher I than a it. home that is unaddressed. And so we're going to use this with marketing, with Coldwell Banker, with trusted brand in real estate, most effective brand in real estate, and then all of our community partners and sponsors involved in the show to give our sellers an unprecedented edge over their competition for, for That's selling their home. amazing. So how do people, what, what are the qualifications for, for our viewers to be able to get on the show? If, if you um, are thinking about selling your home, if it is currently on the market for sale by owner, if you have a, um, an expired listing or a non-exclusive listing, come down to Station Park on this Saturday, Station Park in Farmington. We are doing an event from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Um, we want to meet you personally. I think if you oh weren't gosh. considering it, now you are. <laughs> well, and, and now you have no yeah. reason to, right? Why? And you say, I would yeah. love her ideas in my home. I would yes. love that. Well, and we're, we're going to be in the trenches with you. Now you're no longer a spectator on the sidelines mm. watching a home show. You are on the show doing it with us. And this is right here in Utah. Yeah. Utah Homes, mm -hmm. and I can't wait. Fix, set, sell. Go to our website for all the information, but don't forget, mm -hmm. this Saturday at Station Park in Farmington from 10 to 4, go meet Catherine. If not, you can hop over to her website and let her know you'd still like to be part of the show. That's correct. You put in your info. We will reach out and contact you. Congratulations. Thanks, Sarah. It's so great to see Welcome you. Back. Thank all you. right, let's add. I'm sure you guys recognize the beautiful Catherine Elliott, who was here not too long ago, talking to us about the, the show that you're hosting. It's a web series called Fix, Set, Sell. We're so anxious to get caught up and find out how everything's going. First of all, uh, explain to our viewers what Fix, Set, Sell okay, is. Okay, well, Fix, Set, Sell is actually a fantastic new concept to be able to market and sell your home. So we don't just take your listing. We actually are going to sell your home. We are going to go in and update and stage and then do an absolute blowout, unprecedented edge over the competition for doing that. Catherine, why does that make a huge difference okay, when so you're looking to sell? Just these pictures. So we, we have before and after pictures that we are looking at. And what we want oh to do is, is focus on 
a, a lot of realtors will say, um, and the concept is a staged home is just, you know, leave a few pieces of furniture left in the room and strip it all down, and that's staging. That is not staging. So in this home, we actually went in, and you can see the absolute transformation of the before at the top and the after at the bottom. Um, this home actually had been on the market for 58 days with three showings before we took over the listing. And when we took it over in the first day, we had five appointments for showings in, the, in that first two-day time span. We had 12 groups come through at an open house, and we had two offers in five days. Well, see, I picture myself in the after. Exactly. That's, yeah, that's that, what I'm exactly. able to do. Exactly, because people cannot make an emotional connection to an empty room or a room that's stripped down and doesn't have any signature or any voice. There's no emotional connection there for a buyer. Is this the dining room we're looking at now? That is actually a library. When you first walk oh, into the home, this oh. is the first thing that you see, a beautiful French door library. Um, and and the, the picture on the right, the after, is what we brought into this space. Now, Nisha, I mean, and Michelle, what would you think when you walked into that space and saw the, the before? Would you have any desire to go into that room and linger? No. no. Okay. No. So, First impressions are huge when you are walking into a home, and that's really what we want to do right out of the gate is make that first impression. The, the things in this home are upscaled from retail discount um, stores, Deseret Industries, Goodwill. Wow. You've heard us talk about that. But you actually painted the walls. Yeah, we actually did. We actually painted two of the walls in the house. Um, they're not shown in these before and afters, but look at this before and after. This is the master bedroom. So this is the, the bedroom up above the before. Um, these were the pictures that were on the MLS, so this is how this home was being marketed to the public. Now with these pictures, with the, be with the before there, and now the after, which is showing on the MLS, we just have re repeated showings on this house. People are connecting with it emotionally. Online, 98% of people buy a home, they decide they're going to go see it, they choose that home online before they ever even get in their car to drive to that. Wow. And so unless there is an emotional connection to be had in those very beginning moments of the search for a home. Um, you're really kind of behind the eight ball when the person gets to the home if they right. cannot identify with that space. Well, it's obvious that you know what you're doing and that it works, but how can people get involved and be a part of what you're doing? I'm, ex I'm excited that you asked me that, Michelle, because what we're doing right now is we are still taking homes. We are looking for homeowners that are for sale by owner, that are um, an expired listing or an exclusive listing that would like to participate in the show. And you have a chance. This home actually had been under contract. It is now back on the market. The contract fell out last Saturday, and we are doing a big public open house where people can come meet us personally and d don't take our word for it of what we can do for you. We want to meet you in person, wow. see what we can do for you. Um, the home, um, the address is 491 East Island View Circle in Farmington, and we will be there from noon to 5 this Saturday. Come meet us and see what we Fix That Sale can do for you. So incredible. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to go. I'm That's go the website out. right there, fixsetsell.com. Everybody go to our website and we'll link you and all the information about that event coming up on Saturday. Can you just come to my house? I know, right? <laughs> I'm not selling. I'd love to come you? to your house. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many creative things you can do for, for absolutely so good at it. Getting, getting the most out of what you've already got. Good to see you, Catherine. Yeah. You Thank too. You so much. Okay room and it's all decked out for Christmas. My kids love to put all the little pillows and everything. Catherine Elliott back on the show. She is from Fix, Set, Sell. I call her the expert home seller. This is the person you want to call if you need to sell your home because you stage it so perfectly. And what does it do when people walk in and make that emotional connection to a home they're looking at buying? It translates into offers. A lot of times people will say, you know, I don't need your help because we've kind of got it handled. We have all kinds of showings on our house, but that really is the problem, Nisha, because if you have 30 showings and not an offer, there's a problem. People are not making that emotional connection to where they want to move into that space and make it theirs. So I said to Catherine, will you show me what you mean? And I brought her to my house and said, if I were going to sell, this is my family room, what changes would you make to stage my house? Okay, so I'm really happy to report that Nisha's husband likes me already because I told <laughs> her she did not need to sell her sofas. These are really nice transitional pieces, but the problem really doesn't lie with the sofas. It's where the artwork is hanging on this wall. Your eye is literally stopping, so you're, it does not continue on up. You do not get a, a, sense, of grand, a sense of grandeur mm -hmm. for this space. 
And so we are going to do some really fun artwork um, on that with a $5 canvas we got at Desert Industries, which is going to be that's, amazing. By the way, that's what I love about Catherine. She says, here are the changes we're going to make, and we're not going to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. You it's, can do yeah, this. It's not rocket science. It really is. And there's so much that you can do inexpensively that will make that million dollar look for pennies. And the buyers walking in aren't going to translate that. They're going to see something that looks like a million dollars. I'm going to say, I want that, and I want to live in this space. All right, let's take a peek at my fireplace. Place. Um, this is what we looked at next, and you said a lot of the same color. Yes, so this room is very vanilla. The walls are vanilla, and mm -hmm. eventually Anisha's going to tackle um, the walls. We're going to do those in a soft gray, and the ceiling's in chalk white, but this fireplace stone is beautiful. It's got a lot of the taupey, sandstone colors, and slate colors that are running through your home. And on this mantle is wonderful. It's just, it's very streamlined. Um, but you see the carpet, the fireplace, the walls are all the same color. Nisha has a fabulous turquoise clock that we are going to put back up there yes. because we're going to pull out some of that turquoise and red moving through that home in, in kind of a red thread, keeping the, the underlayment neutral so that it's transitional for anybody to moving in thinking, well, my, my color design and my furniture will go in here, but we're going to dress it up with the trending color pops. I swear so many of us, though, it's hard to have that vision when you've been in your house for like we have 10, 11 years. You just, eh, you don't see it anymore. You can't. You really don't. Catherine walked in and had like 10 suggestions right off the bat. All right, so this is the room as a whole, and you said actually a rug right there. Yes, so we wanted do a white background rug with maybe a trending gray or a, a light color geometric on the rug to add some color again and break up that vanilla in the room. But what I'm excited about on this back wall where the TV console is, when people walk into this room, notice the line is a, a good three feet below the ceiling line and your eye is stopping there so this room feels squatty. The cabinets on either side, the bookcases, which can be repurposed in other places of your home, are really too um, temporary feeling for this space. Um, the term built-in really does equate into built-in equity because if you just put something solid on those on those sides, and we, we talked about taking her $2,500 dining room table that she had custom And even made. moving that over there. Well, and cutting, cutting it in half and putting it on either side of that with cabinets and drawers underneath it, basket drawers, and then bookcases on top that are lit going all the way to the ceiling, literally making permanence on that wall and bringing your eye all the way I'm up. I'm not kidding. Catherine and I had a ball. She's the decorating whisperer. I got so <laughs> excited about the changes to make. And she can do this for you. You are doing a giveaway right we now. We are. We are so excited. So go to um, our Facebook page or our website, Fix Sell.com, and to enter to win, we'd love you to have a home um, that you're owning, a home that you are going to be selling, and uh, put in your information there. You have four things to re uh, four requirements to to enter. So owning your own home, um, follow us on Insta at Instagram. Um, like us on fixsetsell.com and then use, and use our hashtag, hashtag fix well, that the show, go to fixsetsell.com check it out it's a show and I love it if you if you decide to put your home with Catherine um, Coldwell Banker will sell that for you and all of this there's no hidden costs they That's will right. do this, this consultation this is for free. You. Everything that we did for Nisha, we can come do for you. And if I was going to sell Nisha's home, all those suggestions I was making to her, I would come in and execute myself. And it will sell 75% faster. Catherine, Hello, thank you call us. so much. Yeah. I, can you come back to my bedroom now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's play. I Let's get into it. trouble. Go to our website for all of that information, everybody. Brian, coming up. All right, you guys, so spring is right around the corner, and if you are thinking of selling your house, we have the experts here with us. I'm um, cute Catherine Elliott from Fix, Set, Sell, which is an online series, reality series, and it's here locally, yep. and you are basically helping people fix their home up so they can sell it. Absolutely. Okay, so how do you do, how do, you do this? So we go in and we assess the need of the homeowner because typically people don't realize that a buyer needs to make that emotional connection to the space before there's going to be a generated offer. So there's all different scenarios and where um, whatever the need is, we sometimes go in an update and that can be, you know, a huge expense for people. We actually share in that expense for our viewers um, and for our participants. And um, and then we go in and stage. And if, if you were to go in and... Um, and furnish a home. Um, the before and after pictures that we bought, brought today, um, this home is actually was brand new construction. It's racked up over 700 days on the market because it took them that long to get it right in the building process. It's an absolutely oh, spectacular wow. home. Um, but like um, like a, a beautiful person, 
um, it, it had no reason to open its mouth and say anything when people walked in the door because it was empty. Wow. So people were saying this is a gorgeous house, but they were not identifying with it as a beautiful home and not it didn't have a reason to sing to them. So we literally came in and brought all of the things that you see. Had you gone to a store and bought all these things and purchased everything we bought into this house, it would have cost cost you over thirty thousand dollars to do that. If you had farmed it out to a staging company and just contracted that, it would have been close to fifteen thousand dollars during a six month listing period. And if to people sell that house. get on your show, they get that for free? For free. We come oh in, we do it, we bring in the furniture, and with an empty house like this, obviously it needs more, more attention and love because we've got to create that entire emotional environment for a buyer to say, I can picture myself in this space, I want to live here. Oh and so um, with the things that we bring in, it, it transforms it, and every home is different. But as, as we kind of look at the, the things that I brought here on the table, and I love that you're wearing this shell. I know, pink, I didn't even mean to. Because this is perfect. These are the, the trending colors for, um, for this season, and it's been very confusing to people. They're saying, what's this new pink that's being introduced into things? Well, it's, it's shell pink. And so if you can just introduce a little bit of this color pop with all these little random things I was just sharing with Michelle, um, these things are from Goodwill and Deseret Industries that we have found and brought um, and, and just put together in a random nature to be able to pull together this trending look for pennies. And we let our viewers um, that come to our website to fix that sell um, experience this as we take you shopping with us. We take you through projects that we're doing in the homes to help the house get to this point where it's at. So people can do it themselves on pennies, or if you're smart, you'll have us come do it for free and eliminate that stress. How do people get on your show? Um, you can go to our website, fixatsell.com, and go to the contact um, and put in your, your personal info. We are doing an open house for this um, house that we showed those before and after pictures on this Saturday from noon to 5. Um, the address um, should be on screen. Yes, there it is. And we are also doing a $30 Home Depot giveaway. Mm. Um, and so people can actually awesome. go to Home Depot and um, get some supplies to create the projects that they see on our website. Um, in, in this house, we had some mid-century ward furniture, consoles, and dressers that we found at Desert Industries for $35. What? And they would have retailed um, for, for $1,700. And so what, what I did is I went to Home Depot. I just got a, a piece of hardboard covered in the white paper, um, $13 piece of hardboard, and cut it for the top and put it on there because it was damaged. We did not have time to refinish the piece, and so we, we just put it on there. We've painted chairs um, that have fantastic leather seats um, that you can um, repurpose and upscale all kinds of existing furniture that you already have. But um, what, what we'd like to say today is Really, there's no reason for you not to, to call us and use us because for the same 6% that you get a full service realtor, we have partnered with Coldwell Banker to provide an unbelievable package for our sellers. They're, they get all of these other services for free as well as extended marketing through Good Things Utah yeah. and our show, Fix That Sell, to market their home on a local level. Catherine, so this is so great. And if anyone's interested in being on Fix That Sell, make sure you go to their website and check them out and watch the previous shows. Um, such fun segments. You do such amazing work. Thank so you, anyone Michelle. who would get to work with you would be lucky. So Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. All right, you guys, stick around because we are, I, I think, is it Ch-Ch-Ch-Chi? Is that what we're doing in we're the We're doing a little bit of that today. Okay, cool. You betcha. And still ahead, high-end exotic cars and the latest electric vehicles. All ready for you to test drive. Find out where. Coming up. That is what the painting looked like before. Catherine Elliott and I got our hands on it. She is from Yay. Fix, Set, Sell. It is a web-produced series that helps you sell your home. And we're talking about decorating your own homes out there, everybody. This is what you do every day. Yeah. But for under 20 bucks? Yeah. Amazing, right? So we, we came prepared to play, and we brought this canvas. So Nisha didn't know. She thought that we were actually going to start this. We actually base-coated it at her house. But I have a surprise for you. Are we unveiling it right now? It is now? done. Okay. And da 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 da. Oh, Catherine. <laughs> it is so cool. So it 
Totally. So this is going to bring out all the colors in your room. This was a $15 canvas that we got at Desert Industries. We used remainded acrylic, uh, latex acrylic house paint. This took a week to dry because there's a lot of paint on there and because it's different paint, different viscosities and different uh, densities of paint. Some of it shrinks, some of it sinks to the bottom, giving it that fantastic textural. And our awesome 80s fan is gone. Can we show it. the before <laughs> picture if we have that again? I have to show you what this yes. looked like. Oh, 10 bucks. 10, 10 bucks. We took it down to my basement. <laughs> and we just started putting paint on top of it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. What kind of paint did you use again? It's it's just gloss acrylic house paint. So I collect paint like other people collect coins. So I have a whole playroom full of paint, and I came ready to play today. You tell me, like just get very, it on there. Just do it. Just get it on. So this is very therapeutic. And Nisha, what I want you to do now, we've base coated this. This is a 4.99 canvas. Okay. It's base coated with just regular um, high gloss paint. And what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you start. In a square pattern, and this is as easy as it I'm is. I'm gonna watch you first and just, then I'll jump in. Just pour a little bit. We're gonna make little tiny squares all over this canvas, and I'm gonna go right behind you and put on some other colors. Go ahead. I love that you're having me do it because this is what I'm afraid of. There you of. go. I can't create no. something like that. And part part of it, when you really play on your own, you need to like be in the mindset so you gotta put play clothes on. Yeah, no you're inhibitions. Going to get you're dirty. gonna go for this, you're gonna go for okay. this, you gotta get dirty. Should and I I'm gonna go way? behind you, yeah, eat whichever way you go. I'm going to go behind you and I'm going to start layering the colors. And this is as easy as it is. Art therapy is huge right now. Um, everywhere you go, you see adult coloring books. But this, this process is literally, if you don't want to feel like discovering the inner artist inside of you, um, we will come in and do this for you. We bring in all original artwork in our homes to stage completely free. We stage your home, we bring in furniture, we bring in decorations, um, and then we, for 6%, uh, just like every other real estate agent that isn't going to offer you those services, uh, we put your house on our web series. We talk about it on Good Things Utah, and we just have all kinds of fun with you. I'm an artist. There you go. I this did is not so easy. think that this would turn out. You need, and to, you need to do this cool with the girls. Is. Do this with the girls. This is just little bits of paint, and what's going to happen with this now is it's going to dry. It will. Some of it will run together. Some of it will um, stay where it is, but. On this one, I actually picked it up, tipped it, tilted it. I love that you're going right around me. Look there you go. <laughs> Catherine just keeps going while we are, I'm slow. We are okay, a symphony here. We're doing this uh, so paint ballet up The here. one you did for me mm -hmm. took a week to dry? Yeah, a week just because it's paint. Um, but So do it in a basement, do it in a garage, do it somewhere you can close it up, especially now because it's, it's hard for stuff to dry because it's cold. But we, we do this in all of our homes, so you have just a fantastic original work of art at, you know, your hands or at you, your kids. If you go shopping, Catherine, how much is this to purchase? Probably about 500 for this. This would probably be close to 2500 for this. This is another piece just with regular, you know, splatter. Nature is your best friend. Let nature do its thing. Um, don't be afraid. Jump in. Everyone has this inner artist inside of them. Come see us at our open house up at uh, 1697 East Deer Creek. This is in Fruit Heights. Deer Crest, yeah, Deer mm -hmm. Crest Drive in Fruit Heights. And we are doing a $30 Home Depot giveaway again so people can go get supplies to discover their inner artist. SixSetSell.com. The phone number is on your screen. And that's their website. We'll link you from ours. Go to goodforutah.com slash GTU. Catherine is a house whisperer. <laughs> you bring her in and she just knows what the room needs. I can't wait to hang that up. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Well, it's Captain said be a we all have big piece. walls. You yeah. have these walls that what do I do on them? Yeah. They need a big piece. Is there something last tip you should look for when shopping for a painting? For remainder yes. canvases, yes. So always look at the, the condition of the canvas. You want to make sure your canvas is in good shape. If you find a fantastic frame, take it down to Home Depot, have measurements cut, get a tiny piece of ply board cut to go in it if you don't want to have to spend money to buy a canvas. But check out the condition of the frame, the condition of the canvas. Um, this frame, and this is actually on a board um, in, a, in a frame, um, that was $6.99. And uh, re redone with just black and white paint. My and husband gold. approves. He Yay! approves of my new $10 <laughs> painting. Fix that cell. You're awesome. I'm Way so excited. <laughs> Brian, she's Picasso. She is Picasso. No, you are. Was that you the are. right artist, Rembrandt? I don't know. Whatever we're doing, it's happening over here. It's, we're all, it's all art, right? <laughs> so That's cool. right. Okay. Coming up later, we all know the Super Bowl.
Welcome back. I'm here with Catherine Elliott, Fix, Set, Sell, mm -hmm. and we are talking about first impressions in a home. She is so good at taking a home and making it look fabulous to sell. And you're talking about color pops today. Yeah, yeah. It's all about color pops. Which so. you look like a color pop. Yeah, I love your fun my, orange. My vintage imperial poppy orange um, jumpsuit. But this is what you want yes. in, a, in a home. Yes. A little pop of color. Yeah. And what we're going to see today are a couple of homes that we've worked on um, that were um, re really needed some help. Um, they uh, they were outdated um, and uh, the wrong colors all around um, in in the home and the wrong furnishings. So we went in, um, went in and um, I said seriously buy stock and gray paint because I'm I'm all about gray paint. <laughs> so am I. I, I love know, gray. Seriously, but you so, can't have everything gray. Yeah, you can't. And um, and here's why: because when somebody walks into a home and there's no life there. Um, you hear in the staging world, vanilla eyes everything, and that's really not the right philosophy to have anymore, especially with 2016. There are a lot of really bright color pops out there that are trending, and so what we want to show you on the homes that we've done um, are some examples of this type of concept where it actually transforms the space and draws your eye to that color pop. Um, what, yes. what was the, what was the was it a vanilla home when you first it looked at it? It was a vanilla it? home. So this first one that we're talking about, and we're actually going to be doing an open house on it on Friday, um, Friday evening from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. It is in um, the Walker Lane area of Holiday. Okay. And it's on Normandy Woods Court. And this home actually um, had a mob living room. So um, the mob living room was actually very much struggling. Men folk do not connect with a mob space. I don't space. even like the word mob. <laughs> yeah. That's just not even, no. It's so, very 80s and you know, right. eventually it will probably circle back around and mob will be back in. Right. Um, but right now, um, our version of that for this season is shell pink. And so the shell pink, um, we've kind of accented um, with, with color pops. And the last segment, we did a really um, phenomenally bright um, abstract painting for Nisha for her home. And we did one very similar in this home, in the living room. That was and one of my favorite things yes. that you've done on the show. She yeah. took this huge canvas and put paint all over it. And I mean, it looks incredible in Nisha's home now. Yeah. I mean, and that was $10 to yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. And so What we, are the pops of color that are really popular right now? If you well, have gray and you want to make something pop and make it look good, what colors would you use? Okay, so cobalt blue, um, apple I green, blue. imperial orange, everything looks good with gray, which is really a nice thing to remember um, when, you're, when you're trying to stage a home. Oh, so this is the one that I'm talking about in a holiday. Okay. So focus in on the painting that's there in the background. Look at that. Look at the mob living room, the before. And then on the right, um, we brought in all those furnishings. I painted all the walls in here and in the dining room. Um, and then the color pop for that space is that wonderful abstract painting, very similar to Nisha's. It makes the home look brand new. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's so updated. Yeah, so it makes it, it's more of a, a magazine quality um, as far as what, what we're seeing there. Um, so that, that home is the one on Normandy Woods Court, and that open house will be um, Friday. We have another one on Rockwood, um, and maybe if we have pictures of that. Um, on Saturday, and that will be from noon to five. What did you do in that home? This one, actually, we again. Um, the the dining room was red, and red is a good color, but this was more of like a tomato soup red. So it was right. a, it was an indescribable color for this season. It was making people hungry, season. and so we needed to get rid of it. <laughs> okay. And they wanted to have grilled cheese like right, right away when they walked exactly. in. Exactly. And so beautiful, stunning home. This home has so many fantastic architectural features, but the red was kind of taking the, the focus away. This is the dining room in that Normandy Woods um, home, and we did some interesting things there too um, with being able to put. Um, again, custom artwork over the fireplace. This this room was a vanilla beige. Um, we painted it the slate gray, making all the architectural uh, features pop in there, um, the old world fireplace and, and all that. So what we're I doing... I love the simple things that you've done. I yeah. mean, it's really not very yeah. complicated, and, and you made it so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, home show also. You're yeah. be at the home show. So um, we are doing the home show um, April 11th through the 13th. We will be right next to Good For Utah. Um, and sharing in that and showing a lot of the homes that we have available right now that we have gone in and updated them and staged them and they are available for sale. We will be featuring all those homes. Uh, we are doing a drawing. So if you come to our open house on Friday in Holiday or our open house in North Salt Lake on Saturday um, and enter the drawing, you can also enter it at the home show. Um, it's a $1,500 price package. So oh, wow. You furniture definitely and want custom to do that. art and everything available. So Catherine, we will be doing a drawing. I love it. We'll put all her information on our website. You're so good at what you do. Thank you. And Nisha is good at what she does. She's out playing in the garden. Hi. If you're looking to sell your home, first impressions go a long way. Catherine Elliott here from.
fix, set, sell, and she's here to tell us how to do it the right way. Thanks for being here, Catherine. Thank you so much. It's exciting to be here. We are super excited about the homes that we wanted to feature on today's show. We are a very unique approach to real estate. Mm -hmm. We actually go in and update people's homes and stage them completely free. There's nothing on the back end. There's simply a 6%, which is a standard listing fee. Um, You're just going to help us get that first impression out of the door to help people go, yeah, I like this house. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. that emotional connection that we talk about over and over that needs to be made on a repetitive basis all throughout the home. So give me a couple examples here. So um, we've got um, this home in Normandy Woods Court. We are doing mm -hmm. an open house tonight. This is in the Walker Lane um, neighborhood in Holiday. The open house is from 5 to 9 p.m. What we did in this home was astounding. You can see the before picture there with the mm -hmm. mauve living room. And, and then the, everything, the yeah, mm -hmm. everything on the right we brought in. I painted that that uh, slate gray, absolutely. That It's actually called zinc. We created mm -hmm. custom artwork for that space. We brought in multiple um, different genres of furniture. So there's magic in the mix. We mixed all different kinds of furniture, traditional, old world, contemporary, mid-century modern. To give the home kind of a nostalgic historical feel, you can that makes feel it, it interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks a lot more entertaining, yes. more warm. And this uh, house oh, yeah. is where. Oh yeah, and this is the same dining room in this home, adjacent in the big grand formal entryway. Okay. Simple um, concept here. Simple concept. Mm -hmm. The ghost chairs are amazing. They they go with everything. They make it feel uh, very updated and on trend. But this old world fireplace was just hiding. You can see the before picture there on the and left. You brought it out. And I see. Exactly. So the artwork and the mm -hmm. paint and all of the different things mixed into this room um, just within a very eclectic feel but very now feeling mm -hmm. takes an old world space and brings it into today's trends. And do you have more pictures of this house? I understand there's a second house in North Salt Lake that we have. Yes, there is another mm -hmm. home in North Salt Lake. Um, it, that open house mm -hmm. is going to be tomorrow okay. between noon and, and five. And uh, this one, you see the tomato soup red here on the left. Um, a, a wonderful, wonderful home. But the tomato soup red was not working with all of the design colors that we wanted to bring in. I can again, see how you brought together in the middle. That's the change. Yes, on that, that is photo. the change. And then again on the right. Now, another key component of what we mm -hmm. offer our sellers is this amazing photography. We have an award winning photographer, Chelsea mm -hmm. Perkins, that is absolutely astounding in, in the photography market. She's going to sell it here for she, you. She's sell it, you know, absolutely, so to speak. You know, you because 98% of people who are looking for a home, more pictures here of the North Salt Lake home, are going to decide whether or not they're even going to drive to that home to see it online. Oh, okay, based 98 on all the photos. Percent, exactly. Crazy. Presentation is everything. Now, you're going to have some of these ideas at the home show coming up? Yes, we are going to be at the home show next weekend. Um, and we are also having a drawing, a $1,500 drawing. Whoa, you whoa. can come to both of these open houses. This is that, 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 uh, that last one, that last set of pictures. Uh, was in Normandy North Woods Lake. as well, and uh -huh. this one's North, and this one's North Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. But you can come to either open house tonight or tomorrow to enter the drawing, and then again to the home show on again. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and meet us, see what we can do for you um, as far as listing your home, and then see these beautiful homes, all of our homes that we have available on inventory that we have updated and staged that are ready for, for a buyer. So there's the open houses. We've got the home show. And remind me, what is it we're getting with the giveaway again? We are doing a $1,500 giveaway, which will include custom art from me. I'm going to create some awesome. custom art pieces for your home specifically. Mm -hmm. So I'll go out and meet with the winner, and we'll create a piece for their home. And we are doing a $50 TJ Maxx home goods giveaway, as well as a, an upscaled piece of of reclaimed furniture. I love that. It goes a long way. Yeah. All right. So people want to find out how to get a hold of you. There's, of course, fix, set, sell. You can see, obviously, at the home show there, uh, the times you'll be there. But if they want to find you, where do they go? Go to our website, mm -hmm. fixsetsell.com. Put in your contact info, and I will call you personally. Looking forward to meeting you. Awesome. And we'll have a link to that on our website at goodforutah.com. Catherine Elliott from Fix, Set, Sell. Thanks for being here today. Thank you so much, Brian. You betcha. All right. Glenn Emily, back to you.